Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 11 functions class. This is 7.5 arithmetic series. So this is a little bit different from sequences. We're actually doing the sum of the terms in the sequence, which gives us a series. So it looks something like this. Calculate the sums of the numbers from 1 to 100, like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on, all the way up to 100. Um, so you could go ahead and do that. If you want, you can pause the video. Uh, and there's actually a really quick way to do it, so if you can, try to think of what it is. If not, then I will give you a hint. So pause the video now. Um, and here's your hint. When German mathematician Carl Frederick Gauss was a child, his teacher asked him to calculate the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. So that's the same question. Gauss wrote the no list of numbers twice. He wrote it once forward and once backwards, and then used these two lists to solve the problem. How did he do it? So if you like, you can pause the video and see if you could figure it out on your own. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So he did 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so forth. I'm not going to uh, write them all in because you know what the numbers are. And uh, then he did it backwards, so he did 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97 and so forth until he got to 2 and then 1. Okay, so does that help you looking at it? If it does, then you can try and pause it. If not, does this help you? <laughs> and if it doesn't, then you can just listen along. So actually I'm going to add up each of these as if they were terms. So 1 plus 100 is 101, and 2 plus 99 also 101, 3 plus 98, 101, 4 plus 97, 101, and actually all of these are going to add up to 101 because we're pairing them off, right? And uh, so we're going to keep going, and this adds up to 101, and this is 101. So in all I get this 100 times, right? because there were 100 original numbers, so I get 101 100 times. So this ends up being 100 times 101. Of course, this isn't the sum of all the numbers. This is actually 2 times the sum of all the numbers. So in order to get the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100, it's actually going to be 100 times 101 divided by 2, which is 50-50. So the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 100 is 50-50. Of course, you could type into your calculator and go 1 plus 2 plus 3, but um, <coughs> this is a much nicer way to do it, I think. So 50-50 is the answer. So the next example asks us to apply this. Shin Hao goes to a party where there are 23 people present, including her. Each person shakes hands with every other person once and only once. How many handshakes were there? is the question, and the hint is to use Gauss's method. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you like. Actually, you can pause the video and try all of the questions now that you know the Gaussian method. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So basically, Shin Hao has to shake hands with 22 people, right? Because she's not going to shake hands with herself. So she shakes hands with 22 people. The next person in, let's say it's Alyssa or someone, she's already shaken hands with Shin Hao, but she has to shake hands with 21 other people. Um, and the next person, let's say it's Isis, she has to shake hands with 20 more people. She's already shaken hands with Shin Hao and Alyssa, and so forth, all the way down to the last person who shakes hands with one person, right? Um, and then if we add in the opposite direction, whoops, sorry, <laughs> plus 3 and so forth, plus 22, then here we have, again, 23 plus 23 plus 23. We have a list of th all the same numbers, and we know exactly how many there are because you can see I've got 1 to 22, so that's 22 times. So this is going to end up being 23 times 22 divided by 2 as our answer. That's how many handshakes there are going to be. Actually, we should have made it fist bumps, bumps, fists, because that's a little bit more sanitary in uh, consideration of the holiday season. How many fist bumps? <laughs> So, okay, <laughs> how many uh, fist bumps are there? 23 times 22 divided by 2, which is 253. Just typing it into your calculator. So, Shin Hao, oh, sorry, at the party, there are 253 fist bumps. All right, so the next question asks us for this uh, sum for the first n terms of the arithmetic series A, we've got um, a series given, and then B, this is the general series. So if you do A, it actually does work to use the Gaussian method. You can do it in exactly the same way. 
and they're going to write them all out. Plus 42, plus 46. Then we do them backwards, right? 46 plus uh, 42 plus 38 and so forth. I'll get down to 10 and 6 here. So these are all going to add up to 52. So they all add up to the same thing, which is mighty convenient. They just pair off. Plus 52. And you can just count how many terms there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 terms. So the sum of all of these numbers, uh, 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus so forth, um, plus 46 is the, our last term, is equal to 52 times 11 divided by 2, which, if you use your calculator, should give you 286. Now, we can do this again with example B, and instead of having numbers, we've got these, um, we've got these, uh, letters or variables, but that's okay, we can do it um, in exactly the same way. So we start with a plus a plus d, which is term 2, plus a plus 2d, and so forth, until we get to the t sub n, which we know is a plus n minus 1 times d. And if we just write that in instead, like that, and then we're going to add it on the bottom and just go in the opposite order, so a plus n minus 1 times d plus a plus n minus 2 times d plus a plus n minus 3 times d and so forth all the way down to a. So when we add these together, you can see that this section is going to add up to 2a plus n minus 1 times d plus, and this is going to be a plus d plus n minus 2 times d, and if I, um, if I go ahead and factor that, then I'm actually going to get the same answer, right? Plus n minus 2 times d. So this ends up being uh, 2a, and this ends up being um, n minus 2 plus 1 times d. I common factored out that d, which is 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And that actually works for all the numbers in the series, so 2a plus n minus 1 times d, and then again, n minus 1 times d, and so forth, all the way to the end, where we get 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And so we know this happens n times, because there are n terms in our series. So the sum, which we call s sub n, and this is called the partial sum because it's not an infinite sum, so we call it the partial sum, um, is 2a, well it's n times, 2a plus n minus 1 times d, divided by 2. And that's actually going to be our formula. Um, you'll also notice that um, all of these are actually going to be equal to the first term plus the second term divided by 2 n times, right? So this is actually the same thing as n times t1 plus tn divided by 2. And these are our two formulas for partial sum of the arithmetic series. And so you can memorize this. It's a really useful one. You should be able to derive it as well um, and explain it, uh, explain Gauss's method. Okay, so we can use this in a lot of different ways. So now this is a different kind of series where um, we're increasing by 4 instead of 1. Uh, so it's like example CA. Um, so you can go ahead and pause the video. But here I can see that if 50 semicircles, so n equals 50. And uh, the first row has 23 seats, so a equals 23. Each row contains 4 extra seats. Uh, than the previous row, so d is equal to 4, how many seats are in the amphitheater, so I can just plug it into my formula, s sub n is equal to n um, times 2a plus n minus 1 times d over 2, and just plug it in, so it's 50 times 2 times 23 plus um, 49 times d, which is 4 over 2, Plug into your calculator and you get um, 6050. So we'll write the answer because it's a word problem. 
the number of seats is 60-50, or you can write that there are 60-50 seats. All right. Okay, one more example, and then we'll be done. <coughs> Determine the sum of negative 31, negative 35, down to negative 403. Now, this question doesn't give us the n, but it does give us t sub n, which is negative 403, and a, which is negative 31. We could also find d, which we notice is negative 4. You just have to subtract off. And uh, so this gives us enough information. Well, we also know this is t sub 1, uh, but we still can't plug it into the formula, which is n times t1 plus tn divided by 2, um, because we don't know what n is. So we are going to have to figure out what n is. Um, so we can use t sub n is equal to a times, uh, sorry, a plus. <laughs> t sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Um, and just plug in the numbers here, and we'll solve for n. That's the first thing we want to do. Plus n minus 1 times negative 4. Make sure you put brackets around it, otherwise it looks confusing. Uh, we end up with n minus 1 is equal to 93. So n is equal to 94. So that's the number of terms we have. And we can just plug that in now. So 94 times negative 31 minus 403 divided by 2 gives us negative 20,398. So that's the sum of this series. Okay, so in summary, we have a couple of formulas that we found using the Gaussian method of just lining up two rows of um, arithmetic series and adding them together and then dividing by 2. Um, and we use those uh, formulas to find the sums of different series. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!